How to Convert Sheet Music to Music XML or MIDI Hello, I'm Adela Lopez and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll teach you how to convert an image of sheet music that may be in different formats into a music XML or MIDI file. This process can be very useful for those who wish to transfer, copy, sheet music to a music notation editor, such as Sibelius, Guitar Pro, Finale, MuseScore, Dorico, among others. If you enjoyed the video's topic, please kindly leave your feedback by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel, as this is the only way to signal to the algorithm and also to me that this content is good, useful, and relevant. To perform this task, we will need a specialized optical character recognition software for sheet music. There are several on the market, such as Capella Scan, SmartScore, PhotoScore, and SharpEye. I chose to use Capella Scan for three reasons. 1. It has a simple layout. 2. It is easy to operate. And 3. It supports a wide variety of image formats. Here is a list of formats supported by Capella Scan 8, .bmp, .gif, .jbg, .jpg, .jpeg, JPEG 2000, .jp2, .j2k, .jpc, .pdf, .png, .ps, .pcx, .pgx, .pbm, .pgm, .pnm, .ppm, .ras, .raw, .dng, .crw, .ska, .tiff, .tiff, .tga, .wbmp, .wmf, and .emf. Without further ado, let's start the procedure. 1. Open the Capella Scan program. 2. Click on the Open Image button or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus O. 3. Locate the file you want to open. 4. Select the desired file. 5. Click the Open button to complete the action. Note, do not try to open a very large file, i.e., with many pages, as this may cause Capella Scan to crash. During my tests, I was able to open files with up to 50 pages, but it took a long time. Conclusion, large files should be divided into smaller parts, with less than 50 pages. Tip, if the file is in PDF format, you can use a website to split it, such as https colon slash slash www.ilovepdf.com. For the sake of time, I will not show how to split a PDF. 6. After opening the file, wait for Capella Scan to recognize it. 7. Check the number of pages in the file. If the file has only one page, proceed to step 17. If the file has more than one page, then you will have to divide it into individual pages. Images, otherwise, Capella Scan will crash during corrections. To split the file into individual images, 1. Click on the Save Image As button or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus B. 2. Select the Save Location and Image Format. 3. Click the Save button to complete the action. 8. After saving the images, close the file you are working on. 9. Click on the Open Image button or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus O. 10. Locate the images you just saved. 11. Select the desired file. 12. Click the Open button to complete the action. 13. Click on the Recognition Options button or use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F5. 14. Click on Image Optimization. 15. Uncheck the Remove Speckles box. 16. Click OK to complete the action. 17. Finally, it's time to scan the sheet music. To do this, click on the Start Recognition button or use the keyboard shortcut F5. Note, the clearer your sheet music is, the better the optical recognition result will be. Note, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. This is the only way to signal to the algorithm and to me that this content is good, useful, and relevant. 
18. Check the result of the optical recognition and correct as necessary. The correction step is the most important part, so pay close attention to the tips and observations I will share below. 1. To facilitate correction and avoid mixing up voices in your music XML or MIDI file, leave the Show Voices button activated. 2. To avoid problems with hidden objects, leave the Show Anchor Chains button activated. 3. Some sheet music may be very dense and, as a result, Capella Scan may crash during the correction process. To deal with this error, delete part of the page. 4. Listen to your file before saving it by clicking on the clef, then clicking the Play Selected Voices button. 5. Be very attentive to the error of inserting multiple layers. To correct it, simply delete and redo the problematic measure. To know if the error has actually been corrected, it is necessary to save the file and check it in the Sheet Music Editor. If the error persists, I recommend deleting and redoing the entire system instead of just the problematic measure. Then save the file and check again. If the error persists, the solution will be to correct it in the Sheet Music. Editor In my opinion, this is the worst error in Capella Scan because it can significantly compromise the quality of the sheet music. 6. Since the program can crash at any time during corrections, I recommend saving the file at regular intervals or after each completed correction step. This way, you avoid losing all your work if the program crashes. 19. To save the sheet music. 7. Click on the Save Notation button or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus S. 8. Choose the save location and file format, which can be Music XML or MIDI. 9. Click on the Save button to complete the action. Last tip, save the file in Music XML format. Final note, it is important to know that it may not always be possible to generate a perfect copy, even if the sheet music appears perfect in Capella Scan. This is because of two reasons. Firstly, Capella Scan is not a perfect program, as there is no perfect program. Secondly, when one file type is converted to another format, errors may arise. For this reason, it is crucial to carefully examine the generated file. Unfortunately, the video has come to an end. If this tutorial was helpful to you, please leave your feedback by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. This is the only way to signal to the algorithm and to me that this content is good, useful, and relevant. Until next time, folks.